Welcome back to what's... what's Here at Kira's restaurant at 902 Prospect Avenue, Scranton. Thank you, Waldemiro and uh, Anna, for, for having us here. When did you decide to start Kira's restaurant? Uh, six years ago. Six years ago, and yeah. today is your anniversary. We heard. Yeah, then five years ago. Congratulations! Yeah, congrats. It's exciting. And you specialize in Mexican and Salvadorian cuisine. Perfect. Could you tell us a little about the differences of the two? Well, the difference is uh, from El Salvador is uh, the special uh, dish is uh, pupusas. It's a different kind of like beans, cheese, crackling pork, like the mix all together. Here we have one that a lot of people like it, the crazy one. It's uh, beans, cheese, crackling pork, and rojo. That's the one that a lot of people like it. And the Mexicans is so many stuff. We sell the tacos, Mexican steak, uh, our grill and meat, and uh, guacamole, pico de gallo, burritos, quesadillas. And you also have a homemade water here? Yes, we have a uh, horchata, we have a uh, tamarind, and Jamaica. How do you make them? Uh, the, Jamaica, we it's a flour. We just boil it up and we suck the, the ingredient and we just use the water and put a little bit of sugar in it. That's it. Awesome! Can't wait to try that. Good. And, and do you have any specials going on for Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, we uh, have the three color enchiladas. That's the, on the top of the corner. What are your hours? My hours is a. Uh, 11 to 9 o'clock, Thursday to Sunday. Okay, so you're closed Mondays? Monday to close, yeah. Okay. And you have a Facebook page? Yeah, we have Facebook, uh, we have Google and Yelp. Yelp, okay, and Google. Yeah. We try to make ev everything we have in the menu fresh because we know that's tasty better. And what is one of your most popular items? And the Mexican is for the tacos, guacamole, and pico de gallo. Okay. Yes. The crackling pork is uh, we make here too. We deep fry the meat, and later on we blend it for taking better testing. Where did you learn how to cook so well? Well, my grandma. <laughs> Best way to learn. Yep. Yeah. And we're in the grill, cooking. And the, the beans is this one. We prepare, we have a long process. We blend in and we cook about three, four hours for a stay like that. And everything is made to order? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice and fresh. Yes. That one we tried. Because uh, we're talking with my husband in the beginning. You know what? Uh, we love the cooking. Uh, we miss him when, when mom or grandma cooking in the house. Everything is fresh. And that's the, the point we think, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything is staying. Well, see? Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> it looks so nice. Uh, do you have any help with that? Or is it just one or two? Now, is it just the two of you, or do you have any help with the kitchen or with, you know, service? Or? Well, in the front, in the service, in the weekend, we have a son almost oh. 15 years. Yes, he helped. And the, and the kitchen is only me and him. You know, we small. Yeah, sure. We use the meat, uh, the pork. That's only kind oh, of meat you. we use it. And beans 
and cheese. Okay. Uh, well, a lot of people like meat, or some people it's veggie, mm -hmm. vegetarian, and only use it cheese and beans, okay. and something like that. And that one, when it's already, we put it with the cabbage. That's the tamarind. Uh, we make it how to. Okay. It's, a, it's a process we put in vinegar, apple vinegar, salt, and other stuff. We, for two or three days, it's already ferment and testing good. Well, mm -hmm. for me, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and we put in hot salsa or regular salsa. Mm -hmm. The option that the customer. Okay. Yeah. Sounds delicious. That's the process. We make the pupusas. Everything fresh. Everything when the customer put in the order, what I make. What they bring and yeah. the, their chara. That's the one we make it here. That's the recipe for her. Well, for, for grandma. Mm. Cheers! Cheers! That's really good. Mm. Would go perfect with Ooh. your lunch or dinner. And then what were the other two flavors? But the other ones I give to you is uh, the tamarind and the Jamaica. Okay. Uh, which one you guys like it more? Um, I like the, this that's one. That's the I know, I think this one's the winner. <laughs> I like this one too. It's yeah. so good. <laughs> Check out their website and it's a great place to try for Cinco de Mayo or any other time of the year if you want some delicious homemade Mexican or Salvadorian cuisine. And again, the location, Kira's Restaurant, 902 Prospect Avenue, Scranton. They're open Tuesday through Sunday from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Thanks for watching What's the Word with Cheryl and Adria. Happy Cinco de Mayo!